By our unique technology, we can produce all three high quality biopolymers. I mean cellulose, hemicellulose and lignin in one sustainable process. We can use almost every kind of biomass as a raw material, industrial and agricultural side streams. The process has high material efficiency and low operation costs, so our technology and process is highly scalable. So even the small biorefinery is profitable. We have to get rid of the fossil raw materials. These biopolymers offer excellent alternative for non-sustainable raw materials. By using, for example, straw as a feedstock, we are turning waste to value. Our, our innovation is pressurized hot water extraction process, where we can separate the main fractions hemicellulose, lignin and cellulose in a poor native form, enabling them to be used in very many different applications. Actually, we are the only one capable to produce polymeric hemicellulose in the industrial scale. Our story started already in 2011. One major milestone is our pilot plant built in 2017. And now, it's, now we have to run it over five years doing very intensive R&D work. And now our technology readiness level is up to nine. We have noticed that in Procter & Campbell's product portfolio are plenty of products where biopolymers could be used to replace non-renewable raw materials. Biopolymer raw materials made from agricultural side streams would improve Procter & Campbell's brand as a company that promotes sustainable development. We have also noticed that there are many companies in the IQ PET ecosystem with whom we could cooperate to develop new products. Added value to Procter & Campbell is replacing non-renewable raw materials with sustainable biopolymers. As mentioned, our products can be used in huge amount of applications like hemicellulose in laundry products to prevent graying, face and skin care products as an emulsifier and microfibrillated or nanocellulose in baby diapers. Now it's time for us to take the next step. We are raising funds for investment for industrial scale biorefinery, which capacity will be 20,000 tons annually, using mainly straw as a raw material. We hope to find customers and partners in the ecosystem and also investors for our coming biorefinery investment. Thank you and let's be in touch.